was messing around and he gave me his phone thinking he'd hidden it well but no his emails were where all the evidence was and all I had to do was call his hacking friend to help me get in and boom receipt. You're right, babe. Yeah, I just had a long day at work. What? I'm in your emails. Who is that underscore pretty kitty cat? T, I am. I'm so tired. I don't have time for this. What's the matter, Nathan? Am I not enough of a slack for you? Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. I told you already that me and the boys jumped into the girl's DMs and she was a catfish. It wasn't real. Why are you taking this so far? It was a catfish! I assume that you've been talking to other girls and you've just admitted it. So where's the tail, Nathan? T, I already told you, it was just banter with the boys. What, what are you actually doing right now? Pretty Catty is probably a 40-year-old woman that's got her own life and you're making it deeper than what it has to be. <laughs> T, I knew that you was childish from the moment that we met and you've also got a childish circle, but I thought, you know what, after spending time with me, I thought that you would have broken out of it. But no, you just reverted back to the same old you. Well, well, I'm so I'm sorry, Mum. So, I'm sorry I'm so childish, yeah? You see how everything's just a joke to you? T, I told you I'm tired. I'm coming home and I'm going straight to bed. I don't even want to talk to you. We'll, we'll talk about this tomorrow, yeah? I'm angry at you, Nathan. And don't try and brush this off like you do with everything. Huh. And back to your childishness. Look, you don't cook. You don't clean. You don't iron your own stuff. And the side of your wardrobe stinks. I can't keep doing it all for you. Complain, complain, complain. What's your actual point? The same point I've been trying to make for all these four years. I'm trying to say that I'm tired of you and you need to pick up your slack. And I'm getting tired of you always trying to control me. I'm, I'm on the street looking like a madman. You're not my mum. No, I'm not your mum. Then stop acting like it. Then stop forcing me to act like it. I tell you the problem over and over again and you never listen. T, just shut up. Just shut up. I've told you already, work is getting long, deadlines are getting closer, they're cutting people off, and I could be one of them. The only thing we talk about now is cheating, cheating, cheating. I've not done anything to you. There's women that are messaging me all the time, and I've told them that I'm with you. So what now? Look, I'm sorry that it's been hard for you at work, but don't you dare try and flip this on me, and don't you dare try and paint me as the mad black woman. Because you know that I hate that. You hate that? But you're coming to me with the same narrative of a black man always cheats. I hate it too. Well, I hate your childish behaviour. And you know I hate your controlling nature. Well, sometimes I just hate you. So if you hate me so much, why the hell are you still in this relationship? That was the moment I realised we may not make it past this fight. <laughs> we argue often, but we've never questioned our relationship. Ever. Nathan, you didn't mean that, did you? Uh, I think I'm going to stay at my brother's tonight. Just, just come home and we can talk about it, okay?